Tēnā koutou kato malo lele, whakalofa atu, bulavanaka, talofa, kia orana. welcome to the Pacifica Youth Cup here at Bay Ross School, Tamaki Makoto, home of the Bay Ross School Vikings. It is day one of the Pacifica Youth Cup as we get ready for our Premiership pool. Ko Courtney Tidy Oho and joining me in commentary for this first up match is John Devonshire. Uh, JD, great to have this match in Samoa, part of the Pacifica Youth Cup. They were not part of it last year. Yeah, no, nah, it's awesome. And uh, all due respect to every nation as we do, uh, you know, Samoa, Tor Samoa, uh, Jeff Brown and his team, you know, uh, they're, they're, they're a big part of the Pacifica Samoa. And especially on the back of the World Cup, uh, Courtney, let's not remind ourselves, but hey, you must acknowledge, uh, you know, their second place. Yeah, they were fantastic at the World Cup and it was great to see a lot of uh, their superstars playing for their nation as we see the Aotearoa Māori team up on uh, the screen now and uh, some great young promising players, JD. Oh, there is, and Coach uh, Ruka Loza, uh, you know, he, he's been around the traps for a while. He's coaching Fox Memorial at uh, Howard Hornets, but Kanti's Monaco Māori, uh, him and his team, uh, you know, they've come up with a, a fine group of players, caught up from, on the, with them for the last two days, and there, there's a lot of boys, especially those boys that have come back from Australia. Uh, there's a few Māori boys that have come back to our rangatahi uh, tournament and played there. So um, looking forward to it. This is Aotearoa, New Zealand Māori, and, you know, like, uh, yeah, excuse me, uh, whānau, if I get a little bit uh, excited, or boss, no, we're down the middle. Samoa, to Samoa. And then you can see the Samoan side on the screen. And uh, as JD alluded to, it's great to have them back in the competition. They were not part of it last year. Uh, and they'll be looking to put a real stamp on this competition off the back of uh, the Rugby League World Cup. I think they're still celebrating JD Samoa. Oh, Even though they finished good. in second, it was fantastic yeah. to yeah. see and great to see everybody su everybody supporting them. Well, these plants here, Courtney, that are the future whānau. They will be there in three or four years' time uh, at an undoning level. And uh, if this game is like the previous two, I hope you've enjoyed it. There was um, a tremendous game in the first one up with Nui and Tonga Development and Tonga Development getting home. And then the game just finished. Uh, Fiji having their first win at a PYC, Pacific Youth Cup, uh, over Tukalau and having Tukalau back in too because Tukalau weren't, weren't in last year either due to uh, COVID restrictions. So game three, yeah, New Zealand Māori or Aotearoa New Zealand Māori. Uh, the referee there, uh, Big uh, Virgo Ladies from uh, Auckland, Rasmussen, and, and uh, Tucky Parkinson there. And there we go. Let's quickly get in the uh, a promotion for our One Foundation sponsor from the New Zealand Māori Aotearoa, uh, Kerry Bird and Lynn Preston and the team down there in Rotorua. Big thank you without those people like that and all sponsors for all teams, um, Courtney. We wouldn't be able to do what we do. Well, that's it, and we thank them for supporting this Kopapa. Uh, it's a, just a wonderful celebration of our youth, of sport, but also of all our cultures coming together and what ties us all together as people of the Pacifica. And it's also great to see all the whānau and friends. You can hear them cheering and supporting. They weren't able to support last year due to COVID. And I must say, fantastic grounds here at Bay Roskill. So we thank the Vikings because it's beautiful, but also to be able to have the food stalls, the Fano uh, up there on the hill as well, JD, to support uh, this young talent on display. Yeah, thanks very much for those poly, uh, poly donuts. Uh, yeah. yeah, delicious. Six for five dollars. <laughs> so uh, yeah, but uh, we always start with our cultural. Uh, uh, Salute to Haka and, uh, and and whatnot with our with our teams and uh, this will be no different. Uh, we do have a ruling that they can't cross the 10 meter line, so hopefully uh, they will remain behind those. But um, yeah, that's what we are: culture and football. That's it. And Aotearoa Māori will do their haka, and Samoa will do their si. Do, 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 do
Orakihi of Rahu Pokeka, uh, cultural advisor for Aotearoa New Zealand uh, Māori for a number of years, and part of that Whangarā uh, Kapahaka group uh, getting ready. So, uh, Nami Te Ora and his, uh, his whānau and that ki whānau from uh, Bit of Parawhara and also uh, Rahu Pokeka. challenges laid for this match. The Wero, the challenges as we saw the Siva from Samoa and the Haka from Aotearoa Maoris. Now Samoa they won the toss. They will be running right to left on your screen and kicking off but as you can see the Samoan flag waving there. The wind is sweeping across the ground. So it's something that in the first two games that players have to get their head around, yeah. especially when they are going to kick the ball, even conversions, that the wind is sweeping it. It's quite strong, but great to see the flags of our nations, of the Pacifica uh, blowing nice and strong here out at the Youth Cup. Yeah, proud uh, young rangatai of the Pacific Nations, uh, Courtney, and um, yeah, the, you know, like I said, the Samoan, uh, uh, Samoa, we're really pleased to have them back in. There's a uh, there's a rolling that uh, you can't cross the uh, the 10 meter lines and unfortunately um, uh, I think both captains have I've been told just getting through the earpiece so um, uh, uh, yeah yeah it is a roll but we've got to use common sense sometimes Fano and uh, I'll be looking into this because uh, you know if there's both captains or who and there they go both captains and uh, you know it's it's ridiculous really and uh, both in the, the sin bin to start the game so right. it'll yeah. be who kicks off. 
<laughs> well, yeah, exactly. Who, who won the toss? Sorry, yeah, it's so, the toss. So I yeah. guess it's a penalty that's, that's on the both sides. That's discipline. But anyway, the game's underway. Let's get positive. And uh, it's Samoa kicking off from the uh, southern end. And Aotearoa Māori working it up the field. A strong carry there from their number 10, Patua. Javaya Panui also working the ball up through the middle. And an early whistle there from the referee, a penalty to the Māori side. Samoa just holding down in the tackle too long and we've seen it uh, across the first couple of uh, matches today and it's, you know, discipline will play a big factor for these young sides. There are only 60 minute games but they are playing every day across four days. That's right, Courtney, and a huge kick into the 20 uh, of uh, Samoa as the uh, the Maldives will have first attacking option here. A tap and up comes uh, the big prop, the big 10 and that's uh, Nisaya Patua. Very good player. Kalani Maso, uh, uh, Tuhui, uh, uh, not a Wahia boy too. Uh, yeah, proud boy back from Australia. Over the top. Oh, and it was a big out ball to Hayward. Just couldn't pull it in. And the opportunity was there. It's definitely a try gone begging. Might have been better to put it through the hands. I mean, with the wind and the tricky conditions. But hey, uh, Hore Tonu and it's uh, Samoa going to run the ball out from their goal line. And another uh, penalty there blown by the ref. So one apiece as we are not quite two minutes into this match. But as we said in the earlier uh, games, you know, we've got a great calibre of referees here. So it's great for these young players to understand what is expected of them as they start to play at these higher grades. And the kick, it didn't go uh, out into touch. So Māori returned the ball about 30 metres, 30, 40 metres out as Samoa with the penalty. Like yeah. I said, did not kick it out. That's a coach killer, that one. Yeah, you've got to make sure... Yeah, make sure the ball finds a touch. Sometimes we go for too much yardage. But, uh, yeah, so it's uh, our, our seven, uh, Wyndham Patuawa, playing the ball right in front of the post. And the great thing we've seen across day one of this uh, Pacifica Youth Cup is the, the passion that all these players have with a bit of Pacifica flair. So looking forward to it in this match. But execution there gone wrong as they settle down and the nerves uh, take their place and it's, it's the second row of Tain, uh, Harvey. Yeah, he got a little offload down, eh? there. Yeah. And there's a little bit of a chip, a little bit of confusion, but Aotearoa Māori have ended up with the ball. Yeah, I think, I think both sides are just a little bit guilty of a bit nerves, pre-game nerves, um, Courtney, and just need to settle down, go and go go through what works for them as uh, as the Māori are uh, pumping into the line now. And remember, Fano, it is only January 26th. It is pre-season. Uh, so this will be the first touch of footy for a lot of these players mm, for the year yeah. and also the referees. But with saying that, we have seen a very high standard quality of football already here today. Most definitely. Yes, um, forward pass. Maldives looked like they ran in, they went to celebrate, but referee Virgo is calling forward pass. As we see the replay Bang, here. Good pass there. Yeah, it might have been forward out of the hands. 50 50 call, but uh, hey, showing some enterprise anyway, uh, Altero Maori. Definitely testing the Samoan defensive line there, and the referee, he was in the best uh, position. Uh, to seven. see that one, so as the teams will come into a scrum, but still a bit of an armour, so I feel like these teams are still feeling and testing each other out in this early five minutes of this that's match. Right. That's right, it's a settling down period, and uh, you know, uh, both proud nations. Uh, uh, just a shout out, you'll notice our referees wearing uh, black armbands today, and that's that's in uh, in respect to the uh, 
uh, Kelvin Rambo who, who passed away drowned suddenly up on the Northland coast so um, uh, our great referee was Kelvin and, and his comrades and his colleagues here acknowledging the passing of Kelvin Rambo so uh, Nami uh, to his family our blessings and uh, prayers are with them. As we see Samoa now working the ball out of their half and the ref blows the whistle another penalty to Samoa they'll want to find touch uh, with this penalty to get themselves out of their half they're yet to be down the Māori end of the field didn't elect to kick it out no. um, Courtney the, the wind must be too strong and uh, hey, that's a sensible option from uh, Samoa to tap and run play the ball oh he's mate he's got some wheels there yeah, Zion Purcell out of dummy half mm. great strong run there gaining Good extra yards, yards for mm. his team oh and a strong tackle there from Patua the number 10 for this Māori side as Samoa tests the Māori defence they send it to the left edge but they are taken down Just a scoot from dummy half there from this Samoan side from the winger in Andrew. And a little kick along the ground, yeah, probably, easily gathered. Probably not the best executed kick, uh, Courtney, that you'll see, but hey, uh, you know, the Māoris are uh, looking to run it out of, of their uh, off their goal line now, but um, uh, I'm not quite sure. I think the halves, the two captains, are something. Yeah, that's the thing. They're both the uh, captains and halves are yeah, unfortunately yeah. in the sin bin due to the cultural challenge overstepping the line. So yeah, I think they're joining back, joining the uh, joining the play, Courtney. So uh, yeah, we'll be back to a full complement of 13. And and, and I must say, um, although they're not tried yet, they're both still, <laughs> still there. Got three <laughs> minutes left, I believe, in the sin bin. 40, and, 20, uh, no, we're looking for a 40-20, no. And they are just probably two the ones that would be running, the I show, guess, yeah, yeah. the show. Yeah, so, well, they're, they're the spy, no, yeah, they, they so set the play up. They'll yeah. bring some direction once they get out onto the field with the fullback of Samoa and Andrew Nance in a strong run, able to get rid of some of the Māori players. Sure, we're 30 minute halves. On. I think it's a 10 minute Simbin, I think. It might be eight, yeah. But a good yards here, good run from the uh, Samoan straight up the middle and uh, giving the uh, play the ball. They're starting to get a roll as the, uh, the Samoan centre, Andrew. Apilu Andrew. Is it dangerous out of the nine as the, uh, the dummy half uh, Zion uh, Purcell? He picks his times to run. And great game awareness, you can see it already. His forward overran him, so he didn't elect the forward pass as we hear the ref blow the whistle in a penalty. Yeah. Incorrect play the ball, looks yeah, like. Yeah, he, he didn't play it with his foot. Whanau, and that, that signal uh, from referee uh, Virgo there is uh, you must play the four with your uh, foot, uh, unlike uh, some other sports like touch and that. But, uh, yeah, he didn't touch it with his foot. So uh, all your hacks is a bit consistent uh, throughout the uh, yeah, and, and I guess you you, you had a, you made a good point, Courtney. That at this you know this age, this tournament, these guys are uh, you know they're, they're, and they are the more um, uh, senior pro players. I don't like to use the word elite, and and they need to know at this level that you know what's accepted and what's not. A for the rules like that, playing the ball, overstepping the the uh, the mark and the uh, the cultural challenges. That's correct. As we see Marty kick the ball out into touch, they'll get a penalty just in front of the halfway line down their end of the field and a strong run there just on the right edge by the number 14 Toby Gibson yeah he's come from uh, Te Awakairangi down in Wellington and plays for the tournament uh, with the Whanaunga Carl Tauri and the Awa boys so they'll be putting a big Awa call out for the big fella mate that's the second hitter Mate, that's it. Tell them the game's an hour. Don't, yeah. go, don't, don't do it all in the first five minutes, young fella. But uh, hey, a hearty hour oh, run there. Well, that's it. And it's also unlimited interchange, but it is getting quite warm out there for these players. As we see a kick well weighted into the Ingo of Samoa. Can the Māori trap him down there? But no, he manages yeah, to get Yeah, good footwork. Yeah, well done, Samoa. Oh, no, 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 no. He's just calling him back. Go back and play the ball on the mark, young fella. Yeah, speaking of footwork, when uh, watching some of these players, uh, as I said, it's probably is their first league game for the year, but it looks like a few of them have been playing touch as we see a penalty knock there. On. Uh, knock on here, lost Ooh. the ball in the tackle. So, uh, 
Yeah, it's danger zone down here. Uh, Samoa, you don't want to be doing that. Uh, young Andrew uh, Nassan, the fullback, and uh, he just lost the ball. So in the contact area, so uh, a prime op opportunity for Maori. Ten minutes gone in this first game of the Premiership Division. Following this whanau will be the Cook Islands and Tonga. Yes, and New Zealand Māori, they have the ball about 12 metres out from the Samoan line. They're both teams in a scrum just to the left of the uprights as Māori, they're shifting the ball to the right edge. Some good footwork there. Yes. Couldn't you put you in a position because, you know, it's first tackle, you've got six positions, but that Māori flair, that Pacifica <laughs> flair. It wants to come out. <laughs> Let me out. <laughs> Toby, he takes it up again, the big fella. Off the bench, 14, Toby Gibson. And just still over on this right edge, trying to find their way through. Just a little bit flat, Could you've been a bit flat, the Māoris, as uh, Lozo didn't have many options outside him. Of course, he's the son of, of the coach rocker. They look, look a little bit more... Uh, Urgent, I guess, and again, the ball's going, not finding its mark, so uh, well, a bit of a clean-up. They're liking that cut-out ball uh, to the left edge, JD, but like you said, oh, there's a lost ball there. Like you said, sometimes it's easier to go, th or safer to go through the hands. Yeah, put the ball through the hands and, you know, and, and draw and pass. It's a, you know, it's, it's pretty uh, pretty easy, really, when you're drawing pass and you've got an extra man, because, you know, twice now, really, the, the mighty on the left edge have gone, looked to go wide, but the ball hasn't found its mark. And great to see Fano and friends here to support uh, this young talent that we have part of the Pacifica Youth Cup. We've got some... Uh, the Warriors personnel right yes. there, eh? Uh, Grant Pockington and his team, Athens. Uh, yeah, I must acknowledge the Warriors has been good partners and sponsors. Uh, they caught up with Cameron George earlier and uh, Cappy was here, Andrew McFadden. And uh, you now wish our, uh, our, our, our Māori and our, our colleague of yours, I guess, uh, Adam Blair. Yes. In his coaching stint with the uh, uh, SG Bull team uh, mm -hmm. getting underway and his name did squad and also the big one, the All-Stars. Well, that's up. it. Coming yeah. up next month, it is the Indigenous mm -hmm. NRL All-Stars match. Indigenous Australia taking on the Māori All-Stars. Squads were named last night, building excitement heading into February 11th. We'll be in New Zealand for the first time in Rotorua. If there's still tickets left, I'm not sure if there are, but if there are, get your hands on them. Yeah, it's, uh, it's Samoa attacking down the right edge, the fullback in the line. I'm getting phone calls, <laughs> requests for tickets yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, from cousins and relations exactly. and fellas I went to school with 40 years ago. Same. <laughs> yeah, 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 hey, all dad, I get yeah. is my pass into the ground. <laughs> Oh, as we oh, see a kick from Samoa, kick. and it's caught and received by New Zealand Māori. Will go the length of the field. Number 16, Proctor Harwood. Robin Proctor Harwood, the first try of the match. And there wasn't much pressure on him when he was catching and receiving that kick, and then he just saw the space and backed himself. JD, a superb run. You can see. Mate, that's 80 metres. Yeah. That's 80 metres, his, his mum and his dad and his uncle and all his father was saying it was 100 metres. But uh, yeah, the kick, it wasn't too bad with the kick. I think the chase left a little bit desired. The execution was right. They went up to contest it. They overran the ball and uh, he got the uh, got the break and uh, no one in front of him was daylight was second. So, uh, oh boy, put it down. Don't do the old victory salute, guys. You might drop it. And uh, hey, good chase. Good chase by the, uh, the Samoa winger. Uh, yeah, Compton Purcell, he didn't give up. And he chased the whole way. And, uh, you know, young people watching the game, yeah, it's emotion. There's passion and you're happy and you're proud. And it's another $5 for every try you <laughs> score. But put the ball down first. Don't be Always. celebrating before you hit the line. That's yeah. it. Don't count your chickens before they're hatched. Mm. And uh, great work there by the young Robin Proctor Harwood. First try for uh, Aotearoa Māori leading Samoa 4-0 halfway through this first half. About fifth, just over 15 minutes gone. You can see the Samoan flags flying in the background. That's the direction of the wind. Don't underestimate how strong it is. Kickers will have to take that into account when doing their conversions. We've already seen uh, penalty kicks not going into touch already in this match. And you can see it there just... Uh, uh, I mean, I'm not a kicking expert, no, so I'd be Courtney trying to saying, kick it to the touch uh, shot. <laughs> 
Yeah, aim for the club room. Exactly. Uh, it, went, it went like normal, but however, uh, it'll be the Māori that are playing from north to south. Uh, they'll play from in front for the game 4-0, and uh, yeah, yeah, maybe, you know, yeah, it's execution, it is what it is. Eh? <laughs> the opportunities come, you've got to take it. Make exactly Courtney. right. Mm. There you go there. Uh, of course, he's uh, with the ARL. Um, we thank uh, you know all of our sponsors and all that all here around the Motu. The Auckland Rugby League, Bex and her team. And there you go, is a big part of that. And we acknowledge the Auckland Rugby League as we do the New Zealand Rugby League. Greg Peters and his team. Uh, yeah, we're all rugby league. We're all part of the whānau. And this is the Pacific whānau, Courtney, and we're all part of it. It is, and it's a, it's a celebration of the Whakapanonatanga, our Aye. connection as mm. people of the Pacifica. Great to support and see our youth. Thank mm. you to everyone tuning in. The games are live on Sky Sport across the next four days. Finals on Sunday. Tune in, but if you are in Tamaki Makoto, come down to Bay Roskill. We're here at the home of the Vikings. There's food stores. There's plenty of great footy uh, to watch. Bring the whānau down. It's going to be a great four days of rugby league. Most definitely. Kicking uh, early in the kick. I don't know if it hit the roof. <laughs> it looked like he ducked. It looked could like there's a, a few people there. It could have been a Minty's moment. <laughs> but uh, however, it's Samoa. They're on the halfway now. And uh, yeah, a lot of dummy half run. Good offload there. Good footwork from the from the centre. The uh, uh, Chris uh, Massina. But uh, yeah, very lively uh, attack from the summer a lot of dummy half running Courtney eh? there is and uh, you can see it's just the refs you know they're making sure that the attacking teams allow allowed the quick play the ball and calling markers for holding down or holding on too long which is allowing those dummy half runs mm. which is great to see you love to see players challenging the line mm. exactly good good hit up there nice and strong fifth and final let's we'll see we have the execution fifth and final oh, he's hesitated he hesitated, they're going out the back door play, they're going to run it, go to the big fella. Yes, and he's offside, is he? Yeah. Yeah, and Samoa there, they had uh, mm. they had the ball just a couple of metres out from their try line. They were shifting it to the left edge. They had numbers on yeah, the I outside think, wrong option. I think the said, should go out the back? Yeah, should have gone out the back door, went up to the big 12, and uh, I, th I don't think Kane and um, Magili was uh, expecting it either. Yeah. I think he, he even knew it was fifth and final one. Hey, ha. It is what it is. Well, that's a big thing with these uh, youth teams as well, is communication, and it's probably just letting each other know. It is the fifth and final. Send it out the back, chance your arm, and, and try and get a repeat set. Yeah, that's it. Or contest. You know, yeah, chance your arm, contest the ball, or repeat set. Those are the only options. Strong run there from uh, Aotearoa Māori as they send another kick from a, within the 40. Mate, that's a 40-20. That's a, that's a big 40-20. looks like a 40-10. That's what he was looking for earlier, <laughs> yeah, I think. Yeah, I reckon hit too. the ref, unfortunately, but... No, I think you're right. Yeah, and that, that's that's good thinking and good play. That's good coaching. Great execution. Is that Harmy, Herbert Lozer and, and Jared? Yeah. Yeah, yes, to play the ball. That's it. Superb. With just under 12 minutes left in the first half. Māori leading by four over Samoa and they get the ball right on the 10 metre line out from Samoan's line and Samoa they're going to have to defend. Yeah mate, yeah. Can't turn it over there, Zaya Patua. Yeah, big strong boy coming strong back from run. Australia. Yeah, gets up, plays the ball. Three to take him down. Going back to this left edge. Vice Captain Jordan Karke back on the field after an unfortunate early sin bin due to the cultural challenges, so he'll be eager to implement himself in this game. And a possible try, no. Penalty. Penalty. Voluntary tackle, maybe, or he used the well, dive, he was dive dummy between half. his player. Dive between his own player, I think. Oh. Yeah, he used his player right, as JD. a shield. Yeah, so you can't do that and yeah, it's a bit of a head rush. Bit of a head yes, rush here, brother. We have seen it across these matches. Players, they're so close to the line. They want to be the one to score the try, but sometimes <laughs> you've got to do what's best for the team. Send yeah. it out yeah, so you don't turn the ball over, over like that. A brilliant opportunity. Probably gone wasted. Yeah, really, yeah, really. And, and you know, and you, you, you wind it back to the kick in the 40-10 and the, you know, getting the field position. But however, 
Yeah, that's football. It's a game of chances. If you'd score, we'd be saying, well, that's a great idea. <laughs> uh, if you score, that was a great initiative. That's good thinking. Yes, that was a great work from Dummy Harp. <laughs> hey, Harp, but however, so Samoa looking, oh, don't lift them, son, don't lift them up. Yeah, you know, keep the tackles, make them safe. As Samoa work the ball out of their own half, about to cross the halfway line, they're shifting it out to the right edge. Good, good strong run yeah, there, good I've yards. Enjoyed him. I've enjoyed him, he's played well. Robbie Archong, the 10, the prop. Yeah. In the headgear. Yeah, he's, he's been busy. And another kick here from Samoa. Great athleticism, jumping up, tapping it back in to his centre, Malama Talatai. Ina. Yeah, yeah, you know, contestable kick, and that was good. You know, they tried to flick it back and keep the ball alive. That's that Pacifica Māori flair. Unfortunately, not, not quite coming off this time, but it was contestable, and that's the main thing. That's it, and he got it back into his centre. Mm. He's just getting a bit of hoopy there, the, old, uh, the Māori boys. Uh, you know, first game up, fatigue. Uh, we're nine minutes from the half-time break, so they just want to consolidate now. Not, you wouldn't want to concede a try, and if you can get another one, well, it's a bonus. Mate, the kicking game has been very noticed. Well, the wall of game yes. so far, I think the Māori kicking, kicking Oh, game. and they've... And they caught it again. They caught it, regathered. Great work there, and they've got Samoa on the back foot, just loose through the hands. Losing the ball over there uh, for the Māoris, but um, uh, Te Waka Pōpata. Hinari, but uh, yeah, sort of a good kick, and, and I just noticed of all the three, it's just been the third game. Courtney, uh, Coach uh, Rukulos is, is using, that, implementing that kicking game, turning the big fellas around, and and playing field position, and that's pretty smart. But as you can see, there's a bit of fatigue sitting in there, boys. Yeah. There is, and this heat. We'll be mm. getting to the players now. Unlimited in the change, you know. You got your bench, you got 20 players, you know. They're all there to use. That set comes down to coaching, team management. Yeah, yeah, you need your 20 or your squad of players to survive Mate, across the these four days. They do. They got the ball from the scrum and they attack once again. What can they do with it this time? Can they consolidate and put that scoreboard pressure on Samoa even more? What a beautiful pass, the big 10. Here he goes. Katua. Oh, and they're playing it nice and short, close to the line, not quite over there. Referee's in good position. Half a well, he'll shot. go, he'll go. This time he's got it. Yes, he has. He walks back. He went this time. I mean, it's Jordan Kake, the captain yes. there, the number nine. Didn't get it last time, but he came back and try again. <laughs> he did. He did. And it was, you know, set up from his... Oh, here it is. Māori got the feed at the scrum. <laughs> As we see the replay here and then it was great work just on this right side of the field the props were hitting it up getting good field position yeah the markers weren't in place so uh, the 13 and then some more they were uh, they were still to reform and, and get their position on the line a couple turn their back on the ball you never do that the head gear he tried his best at the fullback andrew nutson he, he saw what was happening but uh too close to the ground, and it's uh, the, uh, the the vice captain or co-captain for the Māori, Jordan Kake. Good story. Catching up with his father, Ruben, and all his father at the juicy presentation last night. Courtney, the proud people, uh, Manurewa people that are living over in the Gold Coast, playing at Southport with the Southport Tigers and the uh, and the I think it's the Titans there, looking to play A grade. Came back, uh, you know, played in the tournaments, and uh, yeah, that's what it's about. Eh? Our Māori coming back to help out. Eh? Well, that's it in, uh, in this Māori side. We've even got, like you said, some players across from Australia, some on the Gold Coast uh, and this, with the uh, Burley Bears and the Gold Coast Titans mm. Academy. So it's great to see them, though, being able to come back and uh, wear this jersey. Just before half time, yeah, six minutes to go, five minutes to go, but um, yeah, that, that's you know just just gives you a little bit of breathing space. But this kick is, you know, yeah, you, you got to regroup now, the Mali, and you know, just get to a kick, get to a completion, try and finish with a bit of field position. But first of all, you got to catch the ball. As we see Samoa kick off, there, just over five and a half minutes left in been, this first half. Been very good for me, Patua. Yeah, yeah, very strong. Like his carries. 
very strong. As players like that too, when they do those strong runs, just doing the hard yards, it lifts the team and it shows the discipline. Do your work. As we see, uh, Scoot out of dummy half there and an offload. Yeah, look a little bit forward, I must say. I thought Jordan would have been better to hold the ball. You know, when you got five minutes to play, you play smart, you, you use up the time, you run the clock, you get... Because it's only the second tackle, don't forget, because I, I thought it was Ford originally. Bang, there. Yeah, maybe line ball, but... Yeah, we, but get, best to be safe in these circumstances. Yeah, most definitely, most definitely. Here, talk to you, Robbie. Get play smart, eh? So Samoa with the scrum, just inside uh, Aotearoa Māori's half. As we see a little bit of footwork there from the fullback for Samoa, Andrew Nansen. It's a good run. You get on the outside of his man, he had a good go at it. Yeah, there's Samoa said that. Oh, yeah. give the penalty away, bro. Strong run by number 18 in Wiki Tedder. Yeah, that was, uh, that was a strong run. They're sitting up on that right side. I reckon they're going to go down short side one, maybe to the middle. The big prop, the 10. Driving run through his legs. Carries three players, defensive players with him. Half a metre short from the try line. And they're staying in the middle of the field. Oh, a aggressive run. Is it a try to Samoa right under the sticks? Uh, they're celebrating. For number 16. Big boy in the haka. Tatupu. Etuati. Jeremiah Tatupu. Yeah, see, that came from the turnover. You know, uh, young Jordan Kaki sort of held the ball, taken the second tackle, but, you know, forced the pass. It went forward next minute. You know, they'll come back and they're under the post. So 10 0 at half time. You're looking at 10 6 possibly. It's kept to come in about two minutes to go. Good strong run though, that's how you like your big front rowers to run. Hey, eh? yeah, he pushed one or two out the way and he got the ball to ground. That's a good front rowers, Troy. Well, that was great as we see the conversion here from right in front. Does it easy, but like you said, great run there. He just came back across the uprights. Come up strong the run. Bit of impact though, you know, the big fella. He's very vocal in the hucker and he's just proved it there. Bang, he comes in there. Bang. One, two, three, four even. Couldn't stop him. He had eyes only for the try line. As Māori 10 on the scoreboard lead Samoa 6. With less than three minutes to play here. Kickoff to come. If you're looking at the field now, Farno, it is the blue lines. Beautiful conditions here at Bay Ross School. Beautiful uh, grounds. All the games live on Sky Sport as Samoa return the kickoff. The try scorer, Tatuku. Yeah. Solid run, and uh, they'll be just looking to consolidate here, uh, Courtney, with two minutes to go. You know, uh, easy said, that's what you do if you're playing for two points, but the specific mighty flair, they may run it. <laughs> they, they run it. They run it. They kick. pass those little <laughs> extra passes. That's what makes it exciting. That's what we love. Yeah, I don't tell you, no fear. See, you now they got a penalty. You don't want to be start doing that. That's it. Two minutes to go. This is where discipline comes into yeah, play. Most definitely. And communication. Word has to go out. There's only two minutes. We're four up. Let's head into the sheds. And Samoa smart, electing not to kick it out yet again. Must be, yeah, must, that wind must be stronger than you. Know, you, know, you pointed out that wind must be pretty strong, eh? So they tap it. Yeah. Good draw and pass. That's a good hole. Oh, and great run there. Great execution and play by Samoa. Number 22, Lua Fale Alo. Yeah, that, that's good yards. You know, they, they, they're coming home strong, Samoa. I couldn't. I just feel a, a shift in the game. You know, a couple of penalties, drop ball, another little kick and chase. And a little uh, chip over the top there, but it is uh, gathered by Dawson Putoko, who is returning it for the Māoris. Just looking to play out to half time now. Another, another, yeah. another full play. The balls and we'll go to half time, Farno. But uh, hey, you know, uh, we're setting it up for a second half, uh, Courtney. 10-6. 10 6. 10 30 six. minutes. And you're right, JD. It had been all the way of Aotearoa Māori. Oh. But in this probably last 10 minutes, Samoa yeah. really up the tempo. They're finding that energy right before half time. As we see another kick there. Goes out on the full. 
and he was successful earlier, a big 40, 20, 40, 10 or even. Yeah. Uh, but you can see the wind carried that ball way over the sideline. Yeah, they're going to probably get two play the balls out of the Samoan. So uh, the kicking game has been uh, noticeable with the Māori and uh, young uh, Loza is, uh, is, is putting some good kicks. But that one, unfortunately, uh, drifting too far. So, um, you know, they want to be on their guard here. Ten seconds to play. Don't forget, Fano, we're not the official time, but we'll be pretty close. We'll be pretty close. I forget. Oh, there it goes. We're right on the money. Oh, and there's a chip over the top. Samoa, they gather it, they offload, and then... New Zealand Māori have it and they will go to ground as it is half time here at the Pacifica Youth Cup. Aotearoa Māori 10 over Samoa 6 right here at half time. Stay tuned, all the second half action coming up live on Sky Sport. No my hooky my half time here at the Pacifica Youth Cup for 2023. Aotearoa Māori leading Samoa 10-6 at half time and it was an exciting first half. Aotearoa Māori leading uh, for most of the first half, well leading for the first half but Samoa they came back with some energy as we see the first try here Samoa they went for the kick but New Zealand Māori were able to pull it in it was Robin Proctor Harwood going 80 metres length of the field almost to score the first try. Yeah, sure was, and um, it, it, for me, the uh, the second try, the dummy half, I uh, tried it once, got penalised, but, uh, you know, it's just those quick play of the balls, they get in that field position with a Māori, and at 10-0, they were looking pretty comfortable, and then in came the big fella, yeah. off the bank, it's the impact, Etuai Jeremiah Tatupu, and he did what all front warriors should do, ran straight and hard. Yes, and they were able to convert it, making the score at half-time, Aotearoa Māori 10 over Samoa 6. Stay tuned, the second half coming up. <laughs> Kia ora, no mai, hooky mai. It is half time here at the Pacifica Youth Cup. Aotearoa Māori leading Samoa 10 6 at half time. It is the first match of the Premiership. Paul and JD, it's been exciting and Samoa really coming home strong in the back end of that first half. Can they uh, continue that momentum through as we are about to start the second half? Well, I think the first 10 minutes after half time will give us a bit of an indication. But yeah, the Māori started strong, got the breakaway try and we're out to 10-0 and, and, and looked OK. Looked OK. They weren't dominating, but uh, you know they had the momentum. And then, like you say, the Samoan Tosa might come home really strong. So, mate, we, sit back, people, because we, we were in for a great second half. And this first 10 minutes could be the uh, dictate how this game's going to go. Well, that's it as Aotearoa Māori kick off. All the games live on Sky Sport across the next four days. Finals will be on Sunday. Under 18 Pacifica Youth Cup. Great to see the talent on display. And I said it in the first half, but if you're in Tamaki Makoto, come on down to Bay Roskill. Come and support. There's also plenty of yummy food as well. If that can entice you to come here as Samoa, work the ball up out of their half from the kickoff. Going down the short side, Samoa. It's getting back in the first hit after half time, Fano. And um, I think, uh, like all the games, Courtney, it's going to be um, you know, ball retention, uh, discipline. Do you said mocker. it. You're a mocker. You said put, it. Put the curse on the Right sport. there. Yeah. Commentator's curse as yeah. Samoa, the ball goes to ground. And you know it is. And we've got, it uh, looks like, a, an, injury? an injury to the head, possible concussion there. I might be even the vice captain, Jordan. Park here as we watch it here. Yeah, he took yeah. care. Yeah, he, he was he was gone. Yeah, we're gonna have to get him checked out. And he's valuable. He's been the link around that dummy half, uh, Courtney. He is, you can you know. see, and look just over the back there. Uh, he was still trying to hold down the tackle, but you know, it's been great, I think, what rugby league and the NRL have brought in to make sure we really do uh, look after our players, especially when it does come to uh, to head collisions and clashes. Yeah, those trainers, uh, Chris McMillan, that they're in our physios, they'll 
you know, we, all nations team and Fano uh, watching, listening. Uh, we, you know, we have uh, a duty of care, a responsibility for our players, and uh, uh, he'll do all the concussion protocols and tests. And uh, I see he, the the trainer has done that for Christian. Yeah. But lucky we've got Pucky Parkinson there. I think he's saying. Yeah, end of the you day. Know, and there's is unlimited interchange as well, so Yeah, yeah. End of the day the referee is responsible for player safety, so yeah, there'll be a decision made. Yeah. But uh, yeah, all we'll care and responsibility, we'll, we'll take care of that. So uh, still good. First set though, and uh, like we said, discipline, you know, the first set, and I think the, the right decisions to be made. Looks like he's leaving the field, and, and let's go and get him checked out. Exactly. Yeah, let's go and get him checked out. You know, and then and, and let's be. Uh, Let's be responsible. You know, the young bloke, because you know, you, when you're playing it, well, you hate going on. Oh, you do. You just, never want to leave the, the field, field of play. play. You can yeah. see it here. He even tries to hang on to the tackle once he realises, but he does stumble in the black back play, Jordan, there, and you yeah. know it's best nah, to duty of that's care. That's not good. Exactly. That's not good good yeah. call by Pucky Parkinson. Just, you yeah, know, well done. go to the sideline. Uh, as we see a scrum here in the middle of the field due to Samoa uh, dropping the ball just about the halfway line. Aotearoa Māori hitting the ball up strong on that right edge. Yeah, trying to play the ball too quickly there, losing the ball. And, you know, it's just that discipline thing. Yeah, play the ball, brother. You know, crack the ball, grip it, hold it, cuddle it, do whatever you want to do with it, but look, you know, look after it. And, uh, yeah, so a couple of interchanges coming on there. I see uh, the, the 22 and the, the 23. Lukey uh, on there in the uh, the second row for the Māori, so uh, yeah, so but both sets guilty, uh, both teams, yeah, mm. first set of each, uh, you know, yeah, both, and it's uh, not even two minutes in this first half penalty yeah, two, two each way. Eh? So you, know, you limit the errors, you you, you limit the defence and you know the effort and the energy that you have to put in. So Samoa on attack here, and we hear the refs whistle go again inside the team. And Samoa really being piggybacked down into Aotearoa Māori's half, two penalties in a row. And going by that first half, Courtney, you know, we've spoken about it in a lot of the games, the significance of the wind or the breeze, pretty strong. And I actually think it's favouring the team playing from north to south. Yes, I agree with you, JD. You know, the, the, the team playing into the wind, you know, they were struggling to find touch, so mm. they tapped it a few times, they saw more. So maybe, you know, a, a big significant factor in the game. Definitely, and so it will be assisting. Great run there. Oh, did he get it Mate, down? That, that is strength. That's the 22. Lua Fale Alo, did he get it down there? Celebrating, and it is a try. Very strong run, like you said, JD. He had Aotearoa Māori defence all over him, all around him. From about 10 metres out, strong run. There's three there in three now in the tackle but he's just driving his legs and manages to find the try line yeah that, that's 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 just power that's uh, that's very little bit of wrong technique they're trying to hold him up there no one knocking onto the ball and his arm was free you know the, the winger there should have come in and locked up that ball but uh he, he you know that, that, that's willpower that, that's Keenness to get the job done and put your nation and bang and down it goes, locks it up, 10 all. Well, don't go away, Farno. Mate, it's only three minutes gone. It's I know. Up. 10 all right there. The score was tried right there. You can see at the back of the screen the Samoan flags flying proudly and the score tried, the try scored right in front of them as we look for the conversion. Oh, and he's hooked it in beautifully with the wind to put Samoa in the lead for the first time of this match, 12-0 over Aotearoa Māori. And we see a replay of just the strong run, no one around the legs, and you can see that drive and that effort to push forward and to find the line, as JD said, no one wrapping the ball up either. Right, that kick, that goal kicker must be a local. He, he read the local, he, he didn't even look like this. He swung it in like a JT, Jonathan Thurston kick, well done. 12-10, yeah, great start for the uh, first five minutes for the Samoans. Yeah, and they've really carried that momentum from uh, the back end of the first half. They finished the first half well, and they've started the second half uh, with a lot of energy and enthusiasm. 
as they receive the kickoff and working it out of their own end. Another strong run there from Samoa. Tatupu, number 16. It's got a little bit of a spring in the step, uh, Courtney. I think they're, uh, you know, they've got a sniff. And they're starting to look dangerous with the ball in hand. And uh, the Māori defences are going to have to, uh, to stiffen up and uh, meet them at the headline. The advantage line as the kick comes in. No, he's looking in shape. They're going to run it in that, uh, that flare again. Lock the ball up. This left-hand edge of the, uh, of the Māori defence has to tighten up. And that's it. This is the fifth and last. A good defensive effort from this Māori side. They get the kick away, Samoa. And there is a penalty. I think the kicker was taken out a bit too late. No harm done as they high five each other and you you know up to the ten. Looks like he came up and yeah he, oh, yeah. he didn't need to go on with it. Didn't need to go on with it and that's that D word, discipline. Discipline. But you've got to uh, you know, you, you, you really gotta uh, play smart, it's between the taranga, between the ears, mm. you know, you be clever. So it's a Samoa, Tor Samoa through the ten, hitting it up, Archong, Robbie Archong. And right where they scored a try just moments ago. Strong defensive effort to keep them out there. About a metre out, Samoa. Lost the ball, it looks like. Tried for Lucky the offload. Goal. They almost went for the strip there. Yeah, I think uh, 14. But then he yeah. thought about it. And, and he then said, he stopped. No, Toby Gibson, the big fella with the headgear. And he's got, you know. He thought, and then he said, tempting. And he said, no. No, you could have hick, hick gear that could fit his well, that, mate, that's, uh, he's more blonde than Dolly Parton. Yeah. But, uh, that was new a, year, yeah. new him. Big play, big play, yeah. Scrum here, 10 metres out. Yep. Aotearoa Māori. You're right on those flags, that's pretty strong, eh? So, uh, yeah. Oh, and a great tackle there from the fullback for Samoa, Andrew Nansen. Just trying to inspire his team defensively, the Samoan side to work hard on defence and keep Māori down here, down their own end of the field as they're trying to work it out. Good line speed from Samoa, coming up all together, applying the pressure. Coming down the left edge, the Māori's uh, Good yards, uh, just nothing fancy, a little bit high, mate. 50 50 call, no. Play on, fifth and final. Want a deep kick, deep kick now. Oh, and he shaped to kick, but he decided to run. Good hands there from Aotearoa Māori, shifting it to the right edge. And then he gets a kick away, the winger, putting Samoa on the back foot. Good chase there by the number 14 as he collects. Toby, Toby Gibson. Toby Gibson. He's a centre. Oh, no, he's prop. Yeah, looks like a winger. <laughs> well, he was chasing that ball yeah. like a winger. He stopped the, well, he gained the penalty down this far end on the try line and chased the kick there. Great to see the energy he's injecting into this Aotearoa Māori yeah. side. Yeah, they, they, they lifted it up a notch, I think, both teams. And uh, the Māori having a bit of ball, you know. Our game's a cruel game when you have no football. So... Uh, they're going to make the, uh, the Samoans earn their yards out of the uh, out of their zone and then uh, return. It's, 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 yeah, it really is. I know we say it all the time, Courtney, but it is really an arm wrestle. It's, uh, and it's getting in the trenches and having a dig. And here comes the kick. He's going for a 40 flag. It's out on the floor. And it's way out, Fano. And like we said, not you, close, probably, eh? it's not yeah, close. You, can't, you probably can't judge from home, but this yeah. wind is strong and they're carrying the balls, honestly, over to the warm-up field. Mm. Uh, they probably yeah. carry them out to West Auckland, to be honest. It's that strong. That one didn't look like being in at all. So you can see it there. It is very, very strong. And kickers, they have to be so mindful of how they weight these kicks. And unfortunately for Samoa, now the Māori is getting the ball back inside uh, the Samoan half. Big Toby Gibson's doing a good job coming off the bench, the big 14, plant prop. And I think you highlighted on that chase, Courtney. He got right down there and, won, and he was possessed to do his bit for his team. As the Māoris, they move through Loza out the back. Execution's still not the best there, but he's got good footwork. He's trying to go between the Samoan defenders. They wrap him up. He's uh, ooh, the big 18, comes over the top. 
Māori side, they come back towards the left, a little bit around their head, nothing called there, play on. Oh, and we just spoke about him. Toby Gibson, yeah, the big Gibson, fella. Straight up the middle. Oh, he reaches out. Does he get it? And it has been awarded a try for Aotearoa Māori. They'll lead Samoa 14 to 12. Just unsure. Sorry, Fano. Just trying to pick that up. It happened so fast. I think it might have been the 12. He goes, he goes in the dummy. The one. No, Number the one. one Number one. Dummy one half. Comes in the dummy half. Yeah, that's our man. Jeremiah Cullen. And you can see it here on this replay. Reaches out in full stretch with his arms. Probably not the tallest player, not with the longest arm span, but he wasn't going to let that stop him. He was the smartest player, <laughs> Courtney. He came up there, he's been at the back, he said, I'll give those big fellas up front a break. And uh, he come in, scooped up from dummy half, went in close to the post and puts the Māori back ahead. And uh, he could play, good thinking. Uh, big Toby, going well. Yeah, more well, Big Toby coming big off the Toby bench. Big Toby Gibson, yeah. he's been great off the bench, and uh, good to see his efforts uh, awarded with a try to Aotearoa Māori, finished off by Jeremiah Cullen. Well, I just noticed in all three games so far today, Courtney, the skill level is, is actually not too bad, really. They're keeping the ball alive, and the kick is successful. Puts the Māori hit 16-12. Still got plenty of time to play, Fano. 18 minutes. Yeah, Wyndham, Hatuawa, the kicker for Aotearoa Māori, getting the conversion, as you see the try scorer on the screen, Jeremiah Cullen. Good thinking, young fella. Good thinking. Well, the big fellas are in the dummy half and they can't get down, you yeah. know, a bit of hoopy, so they uh, they go down. But um, cause I, I really did feel, Courtney, that Samoa, Tor Samoa had momentum, that the game had changed. The pendulum had swung and they were starting to, yeah, they were starting to fire, but it was that kick. See, the off an error, mistake, the kick, you know, not judging the wind, eh? You know, and uh, he went out on the full, like you said, like you said, went to the training field next door and uh, unfortunately, bang, Troy. Yeah, and Aotearoa Māori made the most of that one with a strong reply as they replay again the return off the kickoff. We were just speaking about him, an offload from Gibson. Only on the first, <laughs> yeah, as we said, the D word, discipline. Best to just do the hard yards as Eloy works the ball up the field. Yeah. And a penalty earned, well done there. Okay. Yeah. Rakoto Māori, Tane Whaurau, Te Whaurakura of Rākau Manga Manga. Wahi Pā, anything else? <laughs> no, yeah, just went on with it a bit, but yeah, Toby, yeah, the 14, and a couple of the big boppers. Oh, are you kidding me, I was going to say, I heard from the, from the, the voice from the sideline saying, not out, you know, they've got to make sure just, of this. Just out, that was kicking into the face. Uh, mm, of the win, mm. and we saw Samoa in the first half with the same, didn't kick it out, so they no, elected to tap, Toby, but I tell you what, where's this energy coming from? Oh, it's going too close to the sideline, didn't go to ground, and then looked for an offload, but lost the ball. All that good work, eh, you know? Oh, you, you, you hit to the post, big fella, you know, you, you hit to the post, you stay in, and, and then, oh, he tried, because he realised he was getting very close, and Samoa, good work, good defence. They showed, you know, showed a bit of uh, enthusiasm as the bench, as the players. 20 players used per game, Farno, so it's unlimited change, so uh, yeah. Unlimited interchange, 30 minute halves, four days of exciting rugby league as we see Samoa come to their right edge. And the centre is brought down there, but all about play and management across these next four days, unlimited interchange getting the best out of your teams, but making sure players are still fresh and able to fire come Sunday, finals day. But also getting the mahi done on these first three days as we see the ball go to ground. Samoa losing the ball forward. Unforced error, you know, turning the ball over and uh, don't forget following this game, Fano, it hasn't stopped yet. There's one to come and it may be the best one of the day. Yeah, the Cook Islands and the Tongans, uh, they'll be going at each other after this. So uh, in the uh, Premiership uh, division or pool, 
So, uh, yeah, stay tuned, but, yeah, just uh, execution. The ball will go behind the runner, and, you know, if you're watching the game, any young, aspiring young schoolboy players or girls, you know, put the ball out in front, put it out in the chest, and, you know, get your, get your targets up so you can connect. So, uh, you know, you're not turning over the ball. But look at that crowd, uh, Courtney, good crowd. Great crowd, great to see the Fano out here supporting all these young players, putting in the mahi, even some of the personnel from the Warriors, possibly a few scouts and agents here at Bay Roscoe Grounds or watching live on Sky Sport or on the stream. Yeah, opportunity, eh? that's what it's about. Eh? You, you as a young professional player coming up, you know, those opportunities, you never know who's watching and you know, it, it was great great to be part of this to be able to provide this. As, oh, that Māori flair, stay in boy, first tackle coming, that's the one son. Head to Tiara too. Come <laughs> yeah. oh, that was great work there on the outside by Luca Fuller. And as JD said, new to come in, using the game smarts. That's what sometimes it can come down to for these younger players. Game awareness, game smarts, being disciplined, doing the mahi, earning the right to shift it wide as we see the Māori is here. And it is number five, great footwork. Dawson Toko, we've seen him earlier, but unfortunately taken over. Side Good defence, uh, Maori. You know they're, they're threatening down the, the left side, the Maori, and uh, uh, you know he, he probably should have gone to ground right there, but uh, they held him up, they dragged him, and the big winger and uh, three to one, he was a hundred to one and drifting of staying in. So it'll be a defensive scrum for uh, Tua Samoa. Tua Samoa working the ball out of their back end. Strong defence here from Aotearoa Maori, just holding him up. It's a big set here for both teams with just under 14 minutes to play, only four points in it. But we've seen discipline for handling errors. Who can get the work done here? And some more. Just a bit unsure, a little bit uncertain, eh? So, uh, you know, he's got organisers, runners on his right edge there. The half or so mile because he was he was left you know, his options weren't weren't that great just just a little bit of this a little bit of sideways movement now they uh, you know fatigue factor and the exhaustion gets in but that's when you have your halves and your spine your six seven your nine and your one they've got to get in those creepers key positions just like that and put in a kick and look at a bit of uh, yeah but uh, good chase from the one but uh, you know maybe a, a little bit more height or maybe you know, turn them around if you can eh? Yeah, straight into the bread basket there for Dawson Putoko as Aotearoa Māori worked the ball up about the just outside their 40 metre line. Just over 12 minutes left here to play. Tānui, good run, good play the ball, quick play the ball. Boys are starting to roll now. Yeah, and that's the try scorer there, Jeremiah Cullen looking to do some work. Oh. Yeah, that, was, that execution was uh, terrible. And Samoa capitalising as they make their way down the middle of the field, over the halfway. First up tackles, he's pushed away from two, three. You've got to make your tackles, boys. But, um, yeah, just uh, an opportunity to have some footy in the hands for the Samoan team. Beautiful tackle coming right over the top of the worker. Oh, but he doesn't like it. Oh, he, he held him down. He's saying he pushed him down. There you go. Penalty to Samoa. Yeah. It wasn't him. It was the little fella. Watch this fella come over top. Waka. Wolfer. And the fullback penalise there, holding him down. Holding down. Yeah, that's... No. No. I thought the coming over the top was worse than the holding down. <laughs> However, Samoa now, that's their opportunity. The uh, Aotearoa Māori defence, if he knocks the question. They are in an offload there. That Pacifica flare coming out for Samoa. Especially down this end, you can hear the cheers right in front of those Samoan flags flying proudly in the background. You can hear the supporters cheering as a try to Samoa to level things up. 16 all. Kick to come. Kick to come, that's right, JD. And we saw it earlier. Uh, Samoa's kicker, he knows how to kick into this win, as you said, must be a local. Yeah, no, and uh, off the back of a penalty and uh, a turnover and the execution down the other end of the field wasn't the best. And, uh, you know, uh, limited amount of ball for the Tor Samoa side, and, and, but they're using it well. They're using it well. They're bringing some energy and they're lifting and they, they've gone in and tied the game up. And, uh, 
you know, with a kick to come, uh, 10 minutes. Wow, another good game, another classic. First game in the uh, Premiership pool today uh, from the uh, Pacific Youth Cup, the PYC 18s. Uh, eight teams, seven nations, and uh, you know, uh, one game to come, the Cook Islands and, the, and, the, and also the uh, Tongans uh, in the uh, Premier section. So kick to come. Kick to come. You can see the win there. Oh, you should see, he pretty much kicked it to the tuck shop, JD, and it curls right back around over the uprights. Yes, I've just got a, a message in uh, from the comms that um, he lives across the road. <laughs> so he, he stays out here in Blockhouse Bay and he practices here and he knows that, that wind coming off the ocean. And uh, yeah, well done. Very smart. Very smart as we see the replay here. You watch him go sends left. Sends it far left and the wind just picks it up and sends it straight over the black dot if there was one there. Straight into the Samoan Well done, supporters. Andrew Nansen. Nansen, Andrew Nansen. Yeah, mate, that's clever. Great mm, conversion well there to put his side, Samoa, in front, leading 18 to 16 over Aotearoa Māori. So kick it off, Samoa, returning the kickoff. Because that sort of injection of a, of a kick that can lift you, and it's going to be very interesting to see how this Samoa side reacts to that. Because you know, as a lot of our sides, as it gets bumped off, it gives the ball away. The big wing is down the. Mate, the left hand side's getting exposed here from the Maldives, but he's taken out. No, no he kept stays in. in. Compton Purcell sent it back in. You can hear the fans getting excited as Samoa attack down the right. And a end. penalty. And another penalty to Samoa. The Samoan side is celebrating. Here's my attack. Let's have another look at this. He's around the legs. I he's around the this legs. This is Compton Purcell here in the number five jersey. Almost goes out, sends it back in. And does he come in? Mate, oh, can it, I think it's a, a bit of a swinging arm afterwards, possibly. Yeah, yeah, 18, you're a bit guilty there, brother. We're coming with a bloody uh, cheap shot. Gonna have to defend. This is a, this is actually the question of the Māori pride. Here's your mana, boys. Put it on the line. The big yeah, that's my man. The big ten. He's a workhorse, this kid. He is, and he's lost, forced a turnover. Samoa has lost him the, the rap ball. Next minute. Yeah, poor kid. I thought he was uh, uh, Robbie Archon. Yeah. Yeah, he's been strong for this Samoan side, but so too has Patua. In there in the tackle, number 10, Jeremiah Cullen, able to force the error, and they'll get the scrum 20 metres out from their own try line, Aotearoa Māori. They need to hold on to the ball here, work their way down to Samoa's half of the field, put themselves in good position, just over seven and a half minutes left to play down two on the scoreboard. The footwork of Jeremiah Cullen around the big forwards in the middle. Strong run there from Eloy. And some good quick play the balls here, able to catch the markers off guard, allowing the dummies some time with the ball. Could have gone out the back maybe. Uh, fifth and final. And a run from dummy half, a chip over the top. And it's just too much. And Samoa have the ball. You can hear there from the sideline, play smart, play smart. And that's what will be going out to both these teams here with probably about six minutes left to play. Only two points in it. And all these efforts on defence from Aotearoa Māori will be taking its toll on these players. It'll feel relentless from Samoa attack. Yeah, running the ball out, the character, put your hand up, the outside backs will come in and give them a break, and, and then you'll look to put snow on it as you kick it downfield and you know get a bit of field position. So if the Māori are to capitalise, they've got to go the length of the field. But uh, Archer, uh, here he goes, the uh, the big prop, the eight, Francis Tuimonga. Oh, turnover again. Turnover. Of the completion. 
time for Big Toby. Maybe give him the last four minutes. Yeah, put him back on. I think this is the replay here of Samoa. Yeah, went back for yeah. And good pressure applied there from Patuawa. Um, not forgetting, uh, four in each section, the championship pool and the premiership pool, they'll all play each other on the first three days, one game, and then the top two will progress into Sunday for the third and fourth and the one or two. So uh, quite a bit to play for, you know, uh, in this fit. I hope he's called a cop. No. wasn't in. But as you said, JD, plenty to play for in every single match here. As we see Aotearoa Māori, they've seen space out the back. It is Dawson Putoko. He did this earlier and was taken over the sideline. Looks, looks good with the ball in hand, doesn't he? Scramble defence from Samoa, though, at a dummy half comes uh, Ihaia uh, to, to what up? Mm. Got to go to the line. Someone's got to take it up to front. Build them up. Aotearoa Māori with a great opportunity here. 10 They're out from right. the line. They're going to go right. I can feel it. Cullen. Maybe oh. another run from him. Oh, put it through the hands, boy. you got to stay in. you got to stay in, son. As Samoa look to drive Aotearoa Māori back to the 10-metre line. Oh, no, no. Not as fluent there from the 15. you got to run onto the ball, son. you got to run hard. Yeah, not Levi deep enough. Levi Quinn, you got to run harder than that, mate. Oh, great work there from the marker. See, and then you play the ball, boy. You know, you got to run with a bit of passion. Yeah, great work it's there from up. Samoa. Their markers are up quick. Mm. Able to catch the Aotearoa Māori dummy half who scooted, but scooted straight into the markers. And a turnover ball. Come on, you got to work now. you got to work on defence, the Māori team, as uh, Samoa look to run it out. Try and force a turnover. Three and a half to go. They're going to get, probably get a turn with position each eight. They definitely will as Samoa work it out at their 30 metre line. Good work here from both sides. It's been a real arm wrestle. Only two points in it. All the Māori players down on his back. You're right, son. Grab up for your pain for your nation and your people. That's it. Great to see there, though. The Samoa player helped him up. Offload there is a turnover ball in cherished possession. Great work by there by Patuawa just to yeah, hold the, the ball. Samoa Go to ground. Should have held it. Yes, exactly. Go to ground. Hold the ball. Maybe you just got to you know, you complete your seat. You do another set of six and you're there. Big Toby looks like he's back out there. I saw the mop. I saw him come he out. I saw the blonde. I saw the blonde bombshell. No one at dummy half. Here he is. Oh, quick play the ball. No markers there for Samoa. We just spoke about him. He's back on the field in Gibson, but he's taken to ground. you got to run on to it. Aotearoa Māori, 20 metres out. Down by two, just over two minutes left Cullen, to play. Cullen from dummy half. And like you said, JD, they need strong runs, and it's fifth and... Up, oh, yes, that was fifth and last. Should have gone for the receipt, repeat set, eh? Yeah, you know, it's just options there. Kick it into the end goal. A little bit of an experience there from young Lozzie. Should have put it into the end goal and uh, got the ball back. And uh, you turn, your, turn around, son. You've got to get up. That's it, just yeah, under two defend. minutes. you got one more set to defend. Just under two minutes left to play. You can see uh, the play is giving it their all, but it is taking its toll on them. A few hands on knees. This is where it kicks in. Last 90 seconds to work hard as Samoa work the ball up out of their half. Down the short side, good yards from the hooker. The nine, good play. Yeah. Zion Purcell. Yeah, and you kick down it deep into the end goal or deep down to the goal. That's how you run it. But a good tackle also from Luki. Good tackle, good run. Oh, and he lost it. Oh, he called him back. He was lucky. Moves off the mark. They'll kick down now and. Uh... Oh, you you, you got to go deep. You got to go deep. And playing at fullback Dawson. Last set. Picks the ball up. 
They've got, it's now or never. They've got 100 metres to go. Aotearoa Māori down by two points. As they need to work the ball up. Samoa doing all they can to keep them down in their Big own Toby. half. Toby needs a runner with him though. He's got to have someone on his outside and his inside support him. Put play the ball. Mate, we, what are we doing? They're going to the bench. Hard oh, luck, and hard luck. Jeremiah Cullen, one on one. And the defence just got the ball loose. See it here. Scoots from dummy half. Great work. Eyes are up in the the marker. Yeah, is able to get that ball. You got a loose. responsibility to hold the ball, and I think that's the game right there, Courtney. And uh, yeah, well done uh, to the Samoans. Of uh, you know, they're hung in there, and uh, hey, one kick, the difference. Going to be a good section. They're going to be a good pull. This here it is, full time. There it is, and you can hear the cheers from all the Fano and supporters. Samoa get the win over Aotearoa Māori, 18 to 16. Samoan flags flying proudly in the win. Congratulations, Samoa, and a great way to start our premiership competition. Thank <laughs> you.